We're at Stanford today in Silicon Valley with His Excellency Minister Mohammed El Gargawi, the UAE's Minister of Cabinet Affairs and the Future, uh, talking about future of government, disruption and innovation. Uh, welcome, Your Excellency. If I can ask you to talk a little bit about what the UAE's plans are for the future, what are our vision for the future? Uh, thank you for having me here at Stanford campus. Uh, I think, Ruba, whatever UAE is doing is we are setting the tone for the future. I mean, when you look at the future, Hassan and Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed, uh, the president of UAE, announced the future government. Um, people wonder, what's the future government actually? It is we're getting the nation ready for the future. We need to be adaptable because we know the future, within the future, we have a lot of changes, economic changes, social, political, technological change, educational change. So whatever we do really, we're setting the whole nation ready for the changes that will take place in the future. So Your Excellency, here in the US, we're getting constantly asked questions about how and what we're doing in Dubai to make it the innovation hub of the region. And I know this is very much your portfolio and the area that you're working on, building an ecosystem of entrepreneurship. Could you give us a little bit of insight as to what's going on today in the UAE? Innovation based on people, that's very important. What we need to give people, we have to give them the tool. And let me tell you something that we did three years ago. And we're sitting here at Stanford campus. Three years ago, we worked with Stanford to create the first curriculum where we teach everybody in UAE University innovation and entrepreneurship. It doesn't matter you are studying engineering or Arabic language or English language or medicine, but you have to take innovation and entrepreneur part of the curriculum of the university. This is a small bit, but the most important thing it is the whole education system is being changed. Coding, for example, we know the job of the future will be based on coder. Look at Google, look at the top company in Silicon Valley here. The majority of the founders are really coder. So what one example that we are doing, we are teaching coding. It's going to be from grade one till 12th grade. So most probably after high school you have a coder or maybe in 10th grade you'll have a coder. We're doing so many small things and big, big things within innovation. We have in every government department right now, every ministry we have chief innovation, innovation officer and his job to spread innovation within the government sector. Meanwhile, also the private sector is doing it. The, we work very closely with the private sector and we're seeing today innovation is part of the ecosystem of United Arab Emirates. UAE is becoming the Silicon Valley of two billion people. Uh, last thing, I, I mean, just I can remind you, Amazon acquired Souq.com, and that was the largest within our region. So we're seeing global company coming to UAE, to UAE and acquire a home-growing company. And I think we have, within UAE, over 40 incubator, and we'll see more of that. And I think we are just in the beginning. I think we have a huge market. We have tremendous talent within our region. We have 2.5 billion people, four hours flight from UAE. A lot of young people with good idea, they look at UAE as a model for them, as a place that they know they have opportunity. And what we do as a government, we are in the business of creating the environment to unleash human potential. That's fantastic. We heard recently in a lot of uh, discussions about the first 3D printed office in the world functioning. And I know you established in Dubai the Dubai Future Foundation. Could you tell us a little bit about what the purpose is behind the Dubai Future Foundation? What's their objective? Very important, very important. You need to be forward looking in life. We have Ministry of the, for the Future and the federal level in Dubai we have Dubai Future Foundation, 
Sheikh Mohammed gave us a task actually at the Global Government Summit, which is called Dubai 10X, which is you need as a city to be 10 years ahead of other city in the world. I think the whole no notion of, of UAE is forward looking. Always lo we look at the future. Future is not bad. Our job is really to embrace the future. Our job, you know, we have over close to 29 uh, employee, government employee in Silicon Valley today. Mm -hmm. And they're visiting company and they're looking at the future actually. A certain idea, then going to bring it and implement it in their ministry or in their department. So we are in pursuit of the future, let me put it this way. We think our job is to design the future. Either, as Hassan stated, somebody else will design your future or you design the future that you want. I want to ask you about a very important number for us. 2071. The year 2071. What does that mean for the UAE and why is that year important for us? We have a plan of 2021. And all those who are wondering what we are going to do after 2021, we have some idea. But His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed in his last speech talked of 50 years. He stated his vision, how he see the countries, what sort of education we'll have. Based on that, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid in the cabinet meeting, he took that idea and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed Bizaid vision and put it in our centennial celebration. 2071 UAE will be a 100 years old nation. Mm -hmm. So there is a plan for it. In September we have a government, government uh, retreat, federal and local government. They'll sit together, they're going to brainstorm it and we'll have the wider plan. That sounds fantastic. Uh, Your Excellency, the UAE is very much concerned, I know, with young people and the, the vision of empowering youth. What are our plans currently on engagement and empowerment of young people? Number st one step is we have a 22 years old Minister of Youth. I mean, they're very much engaged. Mm -hmm. uh, the strategy of youth in UAE by done by youth. 150 of them got together. They set up their strategy for the future. The cabinet, Hazana Sheikh Mohammed attended the meeting and they approved it. So our youth strategy actually, it is design, plan, and also being implemented by youth. And this is one of the first places in the world that a concept like this is being implemented. That's fantastic. I know we live in a very tough neighborhood in the UAE and to leave on a concluding note, positive or negative are you about the outlook of our region for the future? I'm definitely positive. Why? Because I see the potential of the people. We have good people. Uh, look at UAE, for example. Leadership, make a country or break a country. In UAE, we are fortunate. We have a leader who took us to places nobody dreamt of. We're going to Mars. And who thought 20 or 10 years ago that UAE will go to Mars. We have a leadership that believed in the ability of its own people. They believe that they can go places that nobody have went before. Believing in the people is very important. And the most important thing really, UAE have tremendous wealth. And its wealth is young people. So to unleash the potential of young people is very important, and that's what had happened. So definitely the future will be bright, but we need to work very hard to make it bright.